We're glad to know you're still there and watching Breakfast on Plus TV. And I'm still Nyamgul Agaji, your host for today. Uh, the thing that is trending uh, right now in the country is uh, the fuel subsidy removal. Yes, uh, the new administration has shown that it has the political will to take very drastic decisions that affect the country. But this particular one is either boon or a bane. Is it advantageous or disadvantageous to our existence as a people? Well, one of the stakeholders in the petroleum industry, uh, that is the uh, Ipman, has opposed the president's subsidy removal plan. And I'm glad that I have in this with us today uh, the uh, public relations officer of Ipman in the person of Chief Ukadike Chinedu. Welcome to the program, Chief. Yeah, thank you and good morning, Nigerians. For a very long time, even from the time of MKO, Abiola, and so many other people, the removal of fuel subsidy has been a topic. Right now, from the administration of uh, uh, Obasanjo to Yaradua and every other administration, they have been talking about the fact that this, this fuel subsidy needs to be removed. Finally, it has been removed, but the stakeholders are kicking against it. Uh, Ipman is one of those stakeholders kicking against it. What actually uh, do you see wrong in this removal? Let us know. Uh, well, thank you very much. Uh, um, well, Ipman, uh, during the Asiwaju uh, Tinubu campaign, of his, uh, uh, during his campaign, yes, he invited us uh, to have a chat with him. Uh, that was really the campaign, and uh, uh, we discussed this issue of uh, subsidy, and uh, he reassures us that we need to remove subsidy, uh, but uh, he knows how to do it. He knows uh, the measures to take to ensure uh, that it will not inflate injury, it will not inflate calamity, it will not inflate chaos uh, to the masses. and. Uh, Independent Market Association of Nigeria, we gave him our law. We agreed with him and uh, we also want to partner with him to ensure uh, that this can well, called the uh, subsidy is being removed. And uh, when the statement uh, came from the inauguration uh, speech, uh, we were taken aback. Uh, that uh, this is uh, this statement is a policy statement. Is it, is it implemented with immediate effect, or is, is it uh, something uh, that uh, is reassuring and uh, restamping his campaign uh, promises that is going to remove society? So that is why we are taking a part. It's not that independent market will condemn uh, the policy of uh, well, after all. Uh, We can't hear Chief. Chief. President Muhammad Bari uh, used to get it. He was also trying to remove it. He couldn't do that. So, the, this policy of uh, this policy of Tinubu, uh, this statement, policy statement of Tinubu, uh, has already thrown the, the, the whole society into chaos. So, we are wondering. Uh, Chief. Uh, Chief Okadike uh, Chinedu is talking with us, but um, we seem to be having some uh, network problems, audio issues on his part, and we're hoping that he will reconnect with us. So, Chief Okadike Chinedu is uh, the public relations officer of uh, the Independent Petroleum Marketers Association of Nigeria, IPMAN for short, and they are opposing the removal of fuel subsidies. Go ahead, please. Yeah, sorry. So, you know, it's uh, not in Nigeria still, you know, but I believe that maybe this government can try. Mm. So, uh, that was why I
Chief, we're finding it difficult to hear you and your audio is coming on and off and I hope that you'll do something and rejoin us uh, for us to discuss this very important thing. We're asking ourselves, um, if IPMA, okay, we asked the question, a question earlier on, if IPMAN and other stakeholders, very critical stakeholders are kicking against it, who did they discuss this subsidy removal plan with at all? But we also have found out that it is now that they're meeting with the NNPC and uh, it is now that uh, also uh, they're meeting with the, the uh, Central Bank of Nigeria and other relevant uh, authorities to find a way to alleviate the sufferings of the people. And like our earlier guest said, that is like putting the cart before the horse. How do you expect the horse to uh, take that cart along? It will not move smoothly. So right now, I, I, would, I would have loved a situation where uh, Chief uh, Chinedu would have told us what kind of measures they were expecting the president to put in place. Because he said that the president, before the election, had had a meeting with Ipman and told them about his plan to remove fuel, a fuel subsidy. And they agreed with him. Right now, they were thinking that he shouldn't have done it the way he did it. So we would have loved to know what it is they discussed and how it is they wanted this uh, fuel subsidy to be, to be removed so that it will not affect the sellers and the buyers of this commodity. Because at the end of the day, it is us, the people who are buying from the sellers, that will bear the brunt because nobody wants to sell at the loss. So we are going to be the ones, the average Nigerians are going to be the ones that will uh, bear that the consequences of the removal of fuel subsidy. So is it going to be... Um, good for our economy, going to be better for our economy as it is right now before anything is, is being done, and how much time is it going to take? The measures that they told the president to put in place, how long would it have taken, and all that. We would have loved to know that uh, from uh, Chief uh, Okadike Chinedu. And unfortunately, uh, we have lost his audio and his, even his video. We're hoping that if he can reconnect us from now, to 8.30, we are going to return to him for him to be able to tell us what he thinks. For now, we'll just take a short break uh, while we wait.